What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I got lucky. Um, a friend of mine was cleaning out uh, his place there, he's in the middle of a move, doing a bunch of spring cleaning, and he came across this. Uh, knowing I'm into lock stuff, he immediately offered it to me, and I immediately accepted. So this is my first key cutting machine, and as you can see it's not in the best shape. Um, the only thing I've done to it so far is taken a little bit of oil and, and dripped it in all the uh, all the um, areas that move, moving areas, um, rotating areas and such. The next thing I'm going to do is actually get this rubber band off and just hose the thing down in WD-40 and uh, let it soak uh, for at least an hour and then wipe it all down, get it all clean and then uh, you know, brush out all these crevices and stuff like that, and then hit it up again with a WD-40 and let it soak overnight. <coughs> and then after that, I'll do some extra stuff to clean it up. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys what it looked like when I first got it. So when you end up seeing it later in later videos, you'll know what it used to look like compared to uh, what it looks like in the new videos. And uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, much about this. It's uh, actually I just noticed it says right here, Taylor Lock Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, serial number two one o eight one. So it's uh, from Taylor Lock Company. It's a little switch on the side. Nice little uh, Dayton motor. Yeah. Should be pretty nice. Next time you see it, it should be uh, all cleaned up. All right, guys, it's the next day, and uh, <coughs> I all I did was uh, soak it down with a bunch of WD-40 and uh, scrub it with a uh, brush, and then uh, hit it with WD-40 again and let it soak overnight for a while. So. Uh, as you can see, it, it definitely looks a lot better already. You can actually see the paint has a gloss to it, and uh, I don't know what what paint is left anyway. And uh, actually, looks a lot better than it did before. But um, still not done. Going to um, pay attention to uh, certain areas, like the uh, bar here, the travel bar. Um, I got a bunch of oil in there right now and uh, rust <laughs> so I'll probably take some time with some emery cloth and sand these a little bit just till they're smooth anyway I might not get the shine back but uh, at least get the rough roughness out of it it's kind of little it's not it's not too bad but it's it's not good um, this finger here, I might look into getting a new one, but um, you know, I'll probably hit it with a wire brush or something like that. Uh, the cutter, I don't know, looks pretty good. Uh, I might just try using it and hope hope it works. But uh, if not, I'll have to get a new one. And um, yeah, needs a new uh, wire wheel. I'll get a new one of those. The belt. Um, or whatever you want to call it, band. Looks pretty good. There's no no cracking or anything like that. So, um, and if you, if you need another one of these, you can always get them at uh, vacuum stores. Any place that sells vacuums, it's uh, pretty much the same kind of belt that they use on the inside of the power heads. Yeah, and I'll, you know, take the, the rust off the, uh, the fence there, the gate or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm not much into uh, cutting machines to be the first one I've owned and uh, I've only ever used one or two uh, under supervision of course just you know hey get to try it right um, but uh, this will be my first one to own and yeah a little bit of love she'll be uh, she'll be all right so uh, I guess next time you see it it'll be maybe a little bit more shiny I don't know, maybe ready to cut a key. Alright, I've done some more cleaning. Um, 
might look a little shinier, I don't know, but the whole point is this moves a hell of a lot better now. Um, yeah, so I uh, put the band back on and I plugged it in. I haven't actually tried turning it on yet, so this is the moment of truth. I'm going to see if this actually works. <laughs> nice. Now it seems pretty uh, gutless, <laughs> I should say. Uh, not sure how well it's going to cut a key. Alright guys, I'm back and I uh, cleaned it up a little bit more. I had to um, change the tension on the belt here because the motor was uh, running a little slow. Uh, I was bogging down and uh, I sanded down the shaft here so it moves nice and smoothly now. And uh, we're just going to use it to cut a key. This is uh, one of my um, favorite keys for challenge locks. As you can see it's a lot of uh, high-low, high-low. Um, I actually copied it out of a uh, different type of key, but anyway, um, so like we normally do with these things, I don't know if you guys know much about uh, key cutters, put it in the right way there. Uh, basically, you put both your keys in, put your, uh, what do they call this, fence down or whatever they call it, a fence or a gate or something like that, and you basically you line up. If you look at these blanks, they have uh, notches right here at the end of the bow. And you basically just line those two notches up. Make sure that they are both in line. Uh, all keys vary just a little bit. Even if you get them from the same manufacturer, they could be uh, a little different. So you just want to make sure that they line up. And then tighten them down, turn it on. Now I just got some paper back here to protect my keyboard from all the uh, brass. But um, basically, you don't look here on the cutter. You look here on the uh, peeler. And you just follow the key that you're copying. As you can see, the blade's angled on one side, so you can only go one direction. So we'll start on this side. As you can see with this little guy, we have to go pretty slow. We'll go over it again, make sure it's all, uh, all good. This is one part here. Oh, sorry guys. Trying super hard not to bump the camera. So as you can tell, you got to go kind of slow. Uh, it bogs down a bit, but it does work. And uh, the wire brush needs to be replaced, but it still works. There we go. So it looks like a uh, decent copy. Let's give it a shot in the lock. Yeah, it works good. 
So they have to excuse all the other stuff around here, guys. I've been working on a bunch of things, but uh, as you can see, works great. Um, it's just a copy of the key, so. And I have a uh, challenge lock, quick set, five pin quick set challenge locks to go out. I can always use that key. All right, guys, uh, that is my free restored uh, Taylor key cutter to date. Um, you know, I might do extra things like probably get a new cutter for it, a new wire brush, maybe a new feeler, uh, maybe look at getting a different engine for it, a motor for it, because uh, this one's a little underpowered. But anyway, a uh, new cutter might actually <laughs> change a lot of that. Anyway, have a good one, guys.